This is Jeff from Full Race, and today we're going to talk about how to install a speed sensor into an EFR. The parts you'll need are a handheld drill, a quarter inch drill bit, got this one from Home Depot, the bearing tool, EFR speed sensor, and an EFR compressor housing removed from the turbo. You do not want to install this on the turbo. It's a bad idea. This is a speed sensor bung built into the compressor housing. And what we're going to do is remove the compressor housing from the turbo, drill out the rest of this bung with a quarter inch drill bit, and then we'll fit the speed sensor into it. On my car we have the AFR8374, and as you can see I've removed the compressor housing and the compressor wheel is exposed here. What this is going to do is place the speed sensor in an orientation where it can actually sense when the tip is going around. And it knows this compressor wheel is a seven blade design so it knows that for every seven tips that it sees it's regarded as one rotation of the wheel. It's really important to monitor speed, uh, turbo shaft speed because it can tell you a lot of things from where you are operating on the compressor mount, if you have a boost leak, an exhaust leak, how high your volumetric efficiency is, where your inlet air temps are at, uh, altitude compensations are easy to calculate. Everything's going to be seen through turbocharger shaft speed so this is really important. Now on the Borg Warner EFR come set up with this bung right here however not everybody wants to install a shaft speed sensor so they leave it without protruding all you need to do is you'll notice it's already set up with a pilot drill you just finish the rest of the hole with a quarter inch drill bit and then deburr from the inside so that's what we're going to do next all right right now we've got the quarter inch drill bit and the hand drill there's already a pilot drill down here so you can carefully slide that down make sure it's centered right on the pilot hole and really just give it a go, let it go through. And that's why you do not want to do it on the turbo. See the pilot drill? Man quarter inch drill bit all the way through. Now we have a little burr. Just take your trusty burr whip, run it around real carefully, making sure not to slip and scar anything. Just make sure there's no aluminum lip that could contact the compressor wheel. We'll clean that out with compressed air. The on ring right here, we'll just want to make sure it doesn't get damaged when it gets inserted, and then we'll tighten it down with a nut. As you can see, there's a lot of metal chips in here, so just blow it out with compressed air. Make sure that no metal chips can get in the turbo or damage the O-ring. This is the final step in installing the EFR speed sensor into the turbocharger. We just drilled and deburred the pilot hole here. We compress, uh, installed the compressor housing back on the turbo and tightened the V-band clamp down. The last step is just putting this thing in. You'll note that it has a small green O-ring here. I just use a little bit of O-ring lube. Apply that to the O-ring. Make sure it doesn't tear on the way in. It doesn't take much. Just, just a little dab. Pop that thing in there. And just tighten it down with this small screw right here. Alright, the speed sensor is now fully installed, the nut has been tightened down, or the, the, the screw has been tightened down, and it's a 3A, 3 plugs, GM connector, all the information is on fullrace.com about how to, how to plug it in and how to monitor it, either to a standalone or to a uh, small display gauge. So from that 3 port connector, we've connected it to the Road Rage Gauges SBT display box. It's a really simple install, pretty much the same as any other gauge. And when you turn your key to the on position, it'll uh, cycle through the initialization sequence. It's turning on. So one really cool thing about this unit is it has a, a flash card in it that you can log to. It also has a USB cable so you can connect it to whatever device you want try to uh, pull some data out of it. Right now I have it set up to log turbo shaft speed in thousands of RPM, KPA, 
and ambient air temp. I have some more wiring to do later today, so I'll be monitoring RPM, boost, um, we can monitor EGT, exhaust manifold back pressure, there's a lot of options we can do here. So um, There's a lot of changes that are coming up with this box, but what we're going to do now is take you for a ride and show you how this unit works. Right now we are idling, uh, it's the 8374's motor just warmed up a little bit, it's got a little temperature in it. You can see the turbo's spinning between 6 and 7,000 RPM, um, we're about 10 inches of vacuum, so just under 40 kPa, and ambient temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, I'll update all this stuff later, but we're just going to show you a brief pull through the gears, watch what happens to the kPa and the shaft speed.